fam. We back with another video, man. Hope y'all been enjoying the video. Right now, man, it's the day after Hurricane Francine. And we in the woods, which is Friday. She hit Thursday, what, Thursday? So today is Friday, man. We in the woods. And Ashley came in. I'm working down there. I mean, we come in down there. Come in by myself. And the road actually look pretty solid. I gotta make a, a loop right through here. Turn around and bag off down there before y'all guys see what a load at down there. But other than that, man, I'm the only one here. And uh, we're gonna try to get this thing going, y'all. I'm gonna uh, set my camera up to let y'all see. I may get stuck, but hey, we're gonna try it anyway, man. I'm gonna turn y'all back on. He going to check the road to make sure it's pretty decent for me. So when I swing around, I can bag off in there with no problem. Alright y'all, the road look pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Like it rained pretty heavy and washed all of it out. But he gonna um, blade this little spot while I turn around and I think it's gonna be pretty slick. But then again, just never know, man. Never know. Overall, though, pretty good place. He moving that gun out the way that was laying over in the road. But I think it's okay.
for y'all that don't know what he doing he blading the road trying to get get to the hard spot so we won't be uh slipping and sliding around here in the mud like right where i'm at there I'm, it look like i'm on the loader from here but i'm actually not I'm, the truck kind of slid off the road so you getting all them hard slippery spots out trying to get to the hard part of it like this right here really need that bulldozer to be honest with you that bulldozer blade a way whole lot better than that uh than that skitter to me walk over here with bill at Brian ain't here yet, so. Let's see what we got going on. What you doing, Bill? I'm just recording. I'm just recording. Getting started after the storm. That's all. Storm Bill. <laughs> he the star. He the star uh, actor. He do everything. Ain't that right, Bill? He put air in tires. He adjust brakes. He put water in everything. Hey, he, he trim the trucks. He make sure we good. It's so shaky right there, y'all. One day we're gonna have What's up, family, man? I just want to take you on a ride along real quick, man, while we travel down to Bogalusa, Louisiana with this load. And um, it's something I've just been impressed on my heart to just share with you guys. And one of the things, and I'm proud of a lot of things, and I'm thankful for a lot of things, but one of the things I'm mostly proud of about myself is that I'm glad that I didn't give up on myself. And oftentimes, man, there have been some struggles 
there's been some challenges. Man, there's been some times, man, to where tears had to roll down my face while I was driving this large truck because I was confused. I was frustrated and I didn't know what my next move was going to be. And I didn't know how I was going to do it because of the things that I was up against. And, you know, I had to walk away from some people. You know, there's been a lot of missed opportunities that I could have had that I missed it because I wasn't in position to be able to uh, receive, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity. There was times that I wanted to quit, man. There was times that why I just said, God, you know what? I'm, I can't take it no more. I'm not going to church no more. I'm not doing nothing no more. I'm tired. I just want to just lay down like a dog and just go to licking my wounds and just give in or succumb to my, my challenges. You know, there were some times that I had to deal with letdowns. You know, oftentimes, you know, uh, we, we, we have our expectations high and we believe in people. We believe in that things are going to happen for us. And um, sometimes the things just didn't happen. And it caused me to question myself and to ask me, who was I really who God said I was? And, you know, was I was I fake or was I just, you know, what I'm saying just really just confused in myself. And there was time that I really. I doubted God. You know what I'm saying? My faith was tested. There were times where I, I felt like a failure. There was times where um, I had to remind myself that I got this and I can make it. And there was times that I had to remind myself that if God before me, it don't matter who is against me. I had to keep telling myself that with God, everything is possible. And no matter what the outcome may be, I had to learn to trust God, even in the hard places in my life, the the uh, the in-between places in my life where, um, you know, you would think just because I'm a preacher that I could have a blessed life. And I'm so grateful for the things that God had really given me and gave me. But oftentimes, you know, I wanted more. And when I didn't receive what I wanted, man, it was just like a big slap in your face. And you be like, God, I'm living the best way I know how to live i'm doing what you called me to do you know i'm not out here in these streets i'm not out here chasing at the women i'm not out here gambling i'm not here you know what i'm saying I, i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do and that's when i learned that what the enemy cannot destroy he distracts and that what he was trying to do in my life was distract me because he knew he couldn't destroy me because God's hand was upon me and so he knew that if he couldn't destroy me at least he could try to do was distract me and what happened was it caused me by realizing this I, I started getting rid of the excuses and I stopped playing the blame game of who wasn't there uh, or, or what, what didn't work out for me, how things didn't go for me. And I learned to survive of what's left. And that's when I learned that I was a champion because I learned to, to survive on the broken pieces in my life. And that's all I'm trying to encourage you to do is learn how to survive on the broken pieces in your life. So you can grow and so you can move forward and move on and to have a better and blessed life. Hey, y'all, we want to take a moment out real quick to recognize that this video is sponsored by Garden Reek. Um, they have all different types of lights on their uh, websites. Uh, they have the night lights for your house, for your garden, for your landscape. Man, they lights are amazing. Check them out. Look, if you're looking to upgrade your your home and to make it look real good at night, y'all, I'm telling you, you need to get these lights. Y'all know I don't recommend nothing that I can't stand behind. And I stand behind. Look how well it shows at night, man. This thing come with a transformer to where I can control the light, set them on a certain time where they come on and go off. And I'm telling y'all, I really enjoy them.
All right, y'all. That's number three for the day. We finna hit the lemon to Mississippi with that load right there. A load of chipping sauce still, cause we ain't gonna make it to Bugaloosa before they close at three. And Lumberton stay open at 4.30. So instead of me just kind of pushing for time, just go ahead and go to Lumberton and call it a weekend. You know what I'm saying? Should be in and out over there still. But hey, we getting it done over here. Hey, y'all know what we doing, man. We logging, man. You hear me? Hey, we getting it done, y'all. Okatoma logging. Doing what we do out here. Loading these trucks and making a buck. You hear me? Throwing that pine wood on, man. And getting it on to the meat. But yep, that's about it, y'all. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. Listen here, man. I really appreciate you guys. Uncle Tanky Lee telling me to put my seatbelt. No, that was 18 to life. Told me to put my seatbelt on. Robert T want to know how many years the chipping saw is by the ring. Now, if I ain't mistaken now, Robert, I think it's what, 10 years for every ring? So when we get loaded, we gonna pull up and we gonna count the ring. And we gonna, uh, that's how y'all can tell how many how many years old these trees are. And, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that's about it, you can count the rings on there and we'll tell you how old it is. But shout out to Robert T for wanting to know that, man. And shout out to 18 to life for telling me to put my seatbelt on. But I never ride with my seatbelt. So. Even in my personal vehicle, I don't ride with seatbelt. But anyway, hey, this is what we doing. We out here getting it done. This is a 40 acre, uh, no, it's a, actually an 80 acre track. And they want it thin because they gonna come in and once they thin it, they gonna make some money off of it. Then they gonna turn around and sell it. And so they gonna make some good money off of it, y'all. Nice piece of property, you know, has some mostly chipping saw and, and put wood. We haven't pulled no poles or no logs out of it, just mostly been chipping saw and put wood. And so, uh, we probably got about another two weeks over here. We'll be done. We got the big international dirty. Got a long weekend this weekend, y'all. I gotta preach tomorrow at a youth revival this Saturday in Hattiesburg. Then I gotta turn around and preach a minister's appreciation. Sunday at three. So uh probably bring y'all along with me to do the youth revival. Um what else? Maybe bring y'all along the whole weekend. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna see. And my wife don't mind recording or, or the kids don't mind recording. So uh we're gonna get it done, y'all. I know y'all enjoy the words, the inspirational words that I put on there. So I think it'll be cool to bring y'all along with me to on to go preach. You know what I'm saying? And that's like I told y'all, we bring up with positivity. To the channel man we're gonna that's all we pushing positivity we pushing self-development self-growth uh healing deliverance all that good, good stuff you know what i'm saying we all out there going through many different things we all battle on a day-to-day -day basis and none of us is is exempt from struggling none of us is a strip exempt from you know going through uh depression or uh, setbacks and stuff like that so this channel i hope this channel bring you guys nothing but positivity when you guys log on here and watch the video i do my very best to try to make it more interesting than what it is because like i tell you all the time it get bored out here real fast because i'm doing the same thing every day um only excitement you get sometimes when something happens or going to a different meal or such and such but other than that man it's the same on a routine every day and so i try to put my little spin on it and uh, I always try to include a word of inspiration and hope to uh, help you guys out because like I said, uh, I don't consider myself better than the next man. And uh, I just want to use what's in me to help somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Just using what I got to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? And also, if you haven't, man, do me a favor real quick. Share this video, y'all. Share the video. We got over 700 videos on this channel that you can go back and you can watch. and. You can sit down and watch it with your family, your wife, your husband, whoever, your grandma, you know what I'm saying? It may be a word of him for your granny. Anyway, y'all, we making it happen, and we finish, we're going to finish getting loaded up, and then I'm going to pull up, and we're going to get on out of here, y'all.